Hi, Beach Bum Astrologer again. Tonight I'm not talking about astrology, I'm talking about something else. I'm about to relaunch something that I began many years ago, um, known as the Madame Arcati blog. In its time it was quite notorious and attracted a huge audience, particularly in the media. But because it also had showbiz sort of interest and so forth, which included a number of revelations about the Hollywood actor Kevin Spacey, um, it certainly drew in a lot of people. At some point it was the Time Out blog of the month or something, I can't remember what the actual accolade was. But anyway, I'm bringing it back. Now who's Madame Arcati? Well, me in essence, but Madame Arcati is actually the creation of Noel Coward. He created her for Blythe Spirit, a play that became the film. It's a sort of jokey story about a ravenous little dog. Almost killed me then. I'm exaggerating. Um, yeah, Madame Arcati is a clairvoyant in Blythe Spirit, and she has this habit of bringing forth the, the dead wives of a certain individual. And um, it's always interested me that critics say that she's a fraudulent medium, Is that because they want her to be a fraudulent medium. But in fact, she has the ability to bring forth the dead, but she's incompetent at it. That's more to the point. So she's not fraudulent, she's just not very good at it. She can't control these apparitions and she creates all sorts of chaos. So critics, once again, as usual, don't really review anything but simply applique their prejudices on what they think they're looking at. Anyway, that's beside the point. I remember being on holiday, where was I now? In Spain. And I was looking at all the Art Deco, wherever I was, Barcelona. And I suddenly thought, it's time the world had a medium who's into the media, a clairvoyant medium. And I thought, well, the only way to go, because I'm a non-entity, is to pinch someone else's idea, or at least persona. So I pinched Madame Arcati. I checked out the law. You can't copyright a character. And certainly, my Madame Arcati bears no resemblance to Noel Coward's Madame Arcati. But the basic idea is there. Madame, my Madame Arcati became a very, how should we say, smart, capricious, very observant individual. And over the years, she managed to upset a lot of journalists and editors, the poor things. Journalists are very good at talking about snowflakes, but the biggest snowflakes I've ever come across in life are invariably journalists, usually newspaper journalists, who spend a lot of their time defending themselves against other journalists who want to get them fired. And uh, certainly the Madame Arcati blog became notorious for revealing the hypocrisies, bullying behaviour and other nefarious activities of journalists. And certainly I think I've played my very, very small part in raising awareness of just how nefarious journalists, journalists can be. Uh, the hacking scandal being one example. The new Madame Arcati that I'm launching soon, uh, I still don't know what, what she's going to be about. She's a creature of whim, fate. I don't quite know what she's going to be writing about. Probably less so about the media. I think the media now has changed a great deal. Who cares about newspapers? These sad people. I mean, who's Ted Verity, the editor of the Mail? Who is he? No one's ever seen him, except his unfortunate staff. Does he give interviews? I don't know. I always find it amusing that people who make a lot of money from talking about other people's lives are themselves quite secretive in the main. And uh, that sort of combination always arouses my curiosity. So the new Madame Arcati will in some ways be very different from the old. Those who are familiar with Madame Arcati, the blog itself, uh, may be disappointed by the new version. But I think there'll probably be something there that will interest you at some point. And Madame Arcati will strive to, to find her new audience in a new world where we 
have to think about woke, we have to think about all sorts of different considerations and sensitivities now. And uh, Madame Arcati will evolve into a certain position over time as to where she, she stands. I'm not quite sure when I'm launching her, but it'll be relaunched quite soon. It won't be on Blogger, that's for sure, that's where she was before. Blogger has become a sad, censorious, pathetic platform. I mean, if you go on Twitter, they even have a private account. Private account, can you imagine that? Private. The arrogance of Silicon Valley-oriented businesses are beyond belief. And I'm sure Madame Arcati will be striving to penetrate techno carapaces all over the place. Um, where does my astrology sit in all of this? Well, even in the old version of Madame Arcati, she was given to astrological insight. And astrology certainly has a part to play in um, deepening insight into certain subjects and people. We'll have to see. I don't want to set out a manifesto here. It is, after all, a voluntary, free enterprising site, or will be. And I may interview some people. In the old one, she had her friends, Madame Arcati. Molly Parkin was a great friend. Oh, you don't know Molly Parkin? Well, get out more then. Just get out more. Widen your horizons. Google her, Molly Parkin. Uh, Duncan Fallowell, the writer. He was quite naughty. I published a nude picture of him. That caused hell of a row. I don't think he knows the half of it. And um, other things besides went up, which upset all sorts of people who are oriented to being upset. But I'm not stupid, I wasn't born yesterday. I don't want to upset people needlessly. But I do think there's still space for somebody who's free thinking. It's a great big puddle in front of me. I'm not sure I want to sort of wade through it, but I'll try. If I get to the other side, I'll take it as a sign that it's meant to be that I relaunched Madame Arcata. I gave it quite a deep sort of. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, it's a sign. Um, I thought I'd share these. I didn't plan to do this recording. I just thought I'd record it. You know, I've just finished the Astrological Association conference. It was great, really great. There's a rainbow over here, by the way. I wonder how I can catch it. Can you see it? Beautiful, isn't it? That's a sign. It's a sign. Queen dies of rainbows. I announced Madame Arcati, and there's a rainbow. <laughs> I've often been called an opportunist. Um, anyway, take from that what you will. I will post a few more things about Dear Old Madam, and uh, some of you will love her and some of you will think, oh God, hasn't he got anything better to do at his age? My plan is funeral. I'm getting funeral plans in the post, very worrying. Um, I don't plan to be, I'm not planning my funeral. Someone else can pay for it. Well, it'll come out of my will. So there we are. I'm in, very much in Madame Arcati mode, a bit capricious, a little bit wide-ranging. Have, an, have another look at the sea, isn't it beautiful? This is my world, people. There's a boat out there waiting for the tide to come in. I wonder if I can catch it on the... I don't know whether I can catch it, but there's a boat out there. It's waiting for the tide to come in so it can go into shore and port. Um, The sky is so beautiful. Anyway, thank you for joining me. And uh, I'll be posting again soon, okay? Bye-bye.